Hey everybody, alright, I'm back, and in this tutorial we're going to be doing, uh, adding in the jumping capabilities to so the jumping button. It's going to be a little bit of a short tutorial this time, it's not 20 minutes long like most times, um, but it's going to be just adding in a jump button, so it's going to be pretty simple. Um, the first thing you need to do, though, is you'll see on the side here I have my jump button in my, um, in my graphics folder. Um, so mine just looks like this, it's 150 by 100 pixels. You can make it however you want, it doesn't really matter, just make, um, some type of jump button that will allow you to press it and jump. Um, <clears throat> but getting on with it, we're going to create, um, down here, New method, so we're going to do private void create jump controls. And um, what, what what's going to happen is we're going to load in the sprite. So we need to uh, go to the resource manager, go up to the top, go under the game, and just uh, I'm going to copy this, make it easy again, and just change this to uh, control jump region. We'll do that. So control jump region. Um, then come back down to here. We'll copy this, paste it again. Just making new regions again, like usual. I'm sure you guys remember this and how to do it by now. Um, and then change this to jump.png or whatever you named your file. So in this case, mine's jump, but you get it. Um, <clears throat> and then when you go back to the game scene, and we're going to have to create a new sprite. So we're not going to be using any bodies here, just a sprite. So we're going to do sprite um, jump, I guess, equals uh, new sprite. And we're going to do camera dot width dot get width. And we're just going to position it here. Um, we'll do minus. Mm. In my case, mine is um. Actually, we can do it like this. Yeah, okay. My my jump uh picture is 150, so I'm gonna do um 150 plus 25 to kind of move it to the. It's gonna be on the right side of the screen, so it's gonna be minus 175. Um, and then uh, we'll do camera dot get height and. This is 100, so we'll add an extra 25. Um, so do minus 125. So that's going to position it in the bottom right of the screen, um, uh, so that they can press it on with their right right hand. I'm going to do resource manager uh, get instance dot control jump region, and I think we need feed bomb in there. I'm pretty sure. I'm going to open up the sprites again. Now you'll notice that I didn't use the um, create sprite method that we put in our base um, scene. We didn't create. I didn't use that for a specific reason. Um, so if you remember, in the create um, sprite, we have. I'll show you it. We overwrote a method right here. Well, we're going to do the same thing pretty much, except we're going to use. We're going to override that method and another method. So um, the other one that we're going to override is. Yeah, start it. Public boolean on area. So when the sprite's touched, pretty explanatory. The event is one of the parameters. Um, the x is another, uh, and I think the y is the other as well. And that should be it. Set that right, you shouldn't get any errors. Just import the touch event. All right, so now we're going to. Um, now we're going to see, we, when, we, when they press the jump button, we want to see if they press it when like uh, they they uh, pull their finger up. So if, if we had us when they press on it, it would check to see if their finger's on it, and if it was, it's going to keep on jumping over and over. So we need to see if the if the person's finger comes up. If the person's finger comes up off the button, then it will jump. So I'm going to do if event dot is action up. Pretty explanatory, pretty simple to do there. Um, then we're going to do player body dot apply linear impulse and here's the here now we're going to create the impulse um, so when linear impulse is, is in short terms kind of just like pushing someone so um, you don't like stand with them and run with them and push them you just push them once and they get pushed a certain amount and once they hit the ground or whatever friction stops it then they'll stop um, so it's not like a constant push it's just a little, simple little push so we're going to do um, new vector 2 and <clears throat> this is the amount or this is the impulse so we want to push them uh, we don't want to push them to the left or the right at all, we want to push them up four. And then for the point, it's just going to be the player's position, so player body dot get position. And that's going to be that. So that's pretty much a jump button. The only thing we have to do after that is we just have to uh, implement that stupid uh, uh, pre-draw method that we did in the uh, base class, or base scene. Um, <coughs> so protected void uh, pre-draw, and then gl state uh, we'll just do gl state and then camera camera open this import both of these
import both of them and then um, go down to here and just do super dot pre draw and just put GL state and camera and then um, do GL state dot enable dither. So just like we need in the base scene. Um, so that is pretty much that. Um, I think right here we need that. Yeah, I think we need that. That. Yep. Okay, let's see what we did wrong here. Oh. Whoops. Just return true. Doesn't matter. Alright, so that's that there. So then we're going to do jump. Oh, actually, we need to. What we need to do after that is we need to add it to the actual screen. So, remember how I was telling you with the whole HUD thing how as we move the camera, the HUD stays with you, but say that we place the sprite at the coordinates 100 by 100. If we move the camera past that, then it's not going to show the button anymore. So we need it to stick with the camera. So in that case, we need to attach it to the actual HUD. So this is where the game HUD comes in. So we're going to do game HUD dot register. Oops. Dot register touch area. So it's pretty much just going to be the, um, the sprite itself. So it's going to register to check when uh, the area is touched. Um, pretty much just registering it. Um, then we're going to do game HUD dot attach child. Oops, not attack, attach child jump. And that should be that. I'm just going to copy this method and we're going to put it in the create HUD part. So to j create jump controls, put it right in between game HUD equals new HUD and camera dot set HUD. Um, so now, if you run that, it should, um, it should show up the uh, picture of the jump image. Just double check here. I'm gonna run mine. One second. All right, so play. Yep. So the jump button shows up, and when you jump, if your player isn't jumping high enough, like my player is, my player's not jumping at all. I don't know about you guys, but what you can do is you can just add on to this. So I'm gonna make it like 15. We'll make it 15 for now. Um, and you can play around with that number, of course, if you want to. Um, but it will just create a simple jump. Um, oops. All right, yeah, now it jumps a little bit higher. On 15, it jumps pretty nicely. Um, so that is pretty much jumping, and that's pretty much the end of the tutorial. Like I said, it's a pretty short tutorial. I just wanted to add in the jumping for you guys. And the next tutorial might be, might have like one or two tutorials left. I think the next tutorial might be the last one. Um, but uh, in the next one, we're going to be adding in loading levels and all that. So uh, you'll have to code it in, like, right here for everything. It's going to be nice and simple. So uh, thanks for watching, guys. Come right and subscribe. I'll see you later.